like athletes that have like high performance anxiety typically are have a tendency to be a little perfectionistic. Um, they get so focused on a result. Like if I don't like golfers, if I don't, you know, if I'm like three shots over par on this hole or like, you know, whatever their metric or statistic or, or the result they're going for, like if they don't hit it, like they're a mess. And so it, it's really teaching them how to work on a process, you know, to get the result they want. Yeah. And that's where you put your attention. And then there's things we can do physiologically, like helping them with their mental rehearsal and visualizing and helping them learn how to just breathe properly. I think breathing is still the number one underrated skill for any athlete. Do you remember what that first uncontrollable you worked on with her? It, I mean, it just off the top of my head, no. I think what I was really trying to get her to, I, she was so fixated on making a mistake mm. or not hitting a lift that we really had to break down, you know, what her process was going to be and focusing on what the process was to make the lift.